Hi boys and girls, we are going to make an iguana today, and uh, when we make our happy little lizard, we're going to give him some spots, and we might want to make those spots sparkly. Here's an example. Here's another example of how I could color my uh, lizard. Alright, let's get started. So he's going to need some kind of branch to sit on. There's my branch. Hold on, let me get the lights to work in my classroom. Okay, so there's my branch, and then he's going to need sort of a triangle -y face. It's going to be sort of a, not a blunt triangle, but I mean, I'm going to give him a smile. And I'm going to erase right there because I want him to kind of be opening up his mouth. And I'm going to give him an eyeball. And then I need to give him a body. And a curly Q tail. Alright. He's going to need some sort of leg. So... I'm just going to give him like three little toes. There we go. And then he's going to have a front little leg with three little toes. And then I kind of want to make the rest of his body kind of like that. The inside lines. All right. Now I'm going to give him some spots. And I kind of want to make the spots uh, random and kind of whimsical. Kind of just anywhere and everywhere without a rhyme or reason to it. Give him some on his head. Alright, when I'm happy with my iguana, then I'm going to take a marker and go over my pencil. Oh, you know what? I've got to erase inside this little... And you know what? I cannot find my black marker. Hmm, what should I do? I think I'm going to use a dark green one. I have a dark colored marker. Sometimes it's fun to mix it up and not go with the traditional black. So, let's see. When you go over the lines, remember it doesn't matter which line you go over first. about art. It seems like artists who really need a difference do not go with the traditional type things. Sometimes it's fun to just go on your own. And whatever supplies you have available, that's what you use. And when you create something, Makes you feel really good inside and happy and calm. spots can be totally different than mine. I want you to go on your own creative path. So 
sometimes you might not already have a polka dot plan, but you might feel like, oh, it needs another one right there. Kind of like one right there, a little baby polka dot right there. All right. And now I'm happy with my iguana and my polka dots, or my lizard. And so I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase all of those pencil marks. Clean it up, boys and girls. Because when I add color, if you see the pencil marks through, it's not as clean. Cadabra time. And there we go. My picture has a little color and I'm happy with it. Um, just to give you some other ideas, remember uh, here's an idea. You can put little sparklies on them as the polka dots. Here's another idea. Little sparklies as the polka dots. Um, thank you so much for listening, boys and girls. I really appreciate it. I hope today is the best day ever for you. Bye-bye.